Hi everyone, this is Luann and I am here to answer a question for Nick. Um, I believe this is a firefighter prep question. So if you have firefighter prep materials, this question might look familiar to you. Uh, Nick wanted to know how to set this question up. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. The question reads, Greg began his 500 kilometer road trip to Montreal at 2 a.m. His average speed for the first hour of the trip was 110 kilometers per hour. What average speed does Greg need to maintain if he's to reach Montreal by 6 a.m.? Okay, so what I recommend for these types of questions is to draw the question out. At least that's what works for me because I like to I like to have a way to organize what um, material is given to me. And um, that also helps me determine what I need to know. Uh, so the visual organization is something I do recommend. To do that, I start off with um, just drawing a regular line because He's driving a distance from A to B, if you will, and that distance is 500 kilometers, right? The 500 kilometers is his total trip distance from where he's going to Montreal. So I make a note of that. You want to pull out the important pieces and then plot them into the diagram to make it make sense for you. So uh, it says he began his 500 kilometer road trip to Montreal at 2 a.m. So I'm going to put in at the beginning here, 2 a.m. That's his starting time. And at the end of the question, it says, what average speed does Greg need to maintain if he's to reach Montreal by 6 a.m.? So we're going to put a 6 a.m. at the end just to give you the total time that was spent over the total distance that was traveled. Now it goes on to say his average speed for the first hour of the trip was 110 kilometers per hour. So let's let's just tick in uh, the hourly segments to get an idea of what he's traveled in what time. So we've got from two to three, from three to four, and then from four to five, uh, sorry, from, yeah, four to five, and then um, five to six. So that gives you hourly increments. And then put in your 110 kilometers in the first hour he traveled. So 110 kilometers is what he traveled in the first hour. So that was from two in the morning to three in the morning which gives you this remaining time to deal with, okay? So from three to four is one hour, from four to five is two hours, from five to six is three hours. So that means there's three hours remaining, okay? Um, and we need to determine what average speed Greg is going to maintain if he's going to reach Montreal. So the last piece here is um, the distance that's covered. We know that the total trip is 500 kilometers and we know that Greg has already traveled 110 kilometers. So we cannot calculate the 110 into um, the time remaining because that's already been spent time and spent distance. So we need to subtract that from the total to take a look at what's remaining. So we're going to take the total, which is 500, and we're going to subtract 110 kilometers from that because total time, uh, sorry, total distance is 500. He's already traveled 110 kilometers, and that is going to give you 390 kilometers left over. Okay, so he, essentially he has three hours left over, uh, sorry, three hours left to travel 390 kilometers. Now we need to determine the average speed. Average means to divide, okay? That's really important. If you don't know what certain words mean in word problems, then you're doing yourself a disservice because not often do you get um, clear directives in terms of whether or not you need to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. More often than not, 
certain words mean those operations and you need to know those words. If you don't know your word problem vocabulary, definitely send me a message and uh, book a tutoring session so you can get the knowledge you need so you can apply it to your own materials. Coming back, you know that average means to divide. So you're going to divide the remaining time you have by um, or sorry, into your total kilometers. So we've got 390 kilometers left to go over three hours, okay? And that is going to give you 130. And that unit is kilometers, okay? So there's your answer there. What average speed does Greg need to maintain if he's to reach Montreal by 6 a.m.? Well, he's got 390 kilometers left to travel after traveling 110 kilometers and three hours left to do that in. So when you divide 390 by three, that's going to give you a total of 130 kilometers. He will have to travel each hour to uh, maintain um, his end time at 6 a.m. All right. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have a question that you want me to answer, uh, I would be happy to do that for you. I need the original question and the original answer options. So if you send me, I believe there's an email link, you can send me your question. I just need the question and the answer options and I'll do a video for you on how to do that. Um, and then, like I said, if you need further assistance, definitely check out Smart Tutoring at smarttutoring.ca and book yourself a firefighter test preparation session. Thank you and have a smart day.